Ted Cruz. I've met him a few times, and I I don't agree with anything that he um, stands for. But I I'm not sure he's not going to. Don't have, underestimate. Yeah, I would not. I do not underestimate him. Not I, I'm going to underestimate. He's part of the show. Oh, and that, and that he's is not. It. Listen, part of the last show, time around, Donnie, we had a freak show. We had a clown show, and I was the exactly. first to say it. This is not. He's Sarah Palin. What we're he's a oh, he's, oh, no. he's not Sarah Palin. He is. Wow. He is. He is. He is Donnie theater. Deutsch, you're wrong. He is theater. I am right. He is oh theater. my lord. He is completely unelectable. He all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there you have it. Some of the uh, reaction from the media uh, to Ted Cruz. You knew it was going to happen. It's bad enough uh, uh, when they do it, but then, of course, some Republicans do it. Joining us now is Jeffrey Dickens. He is Deputy Research Director of the Media Research Center. Hello, Jeffrey. Hi, thanks for having me on. Always my pleasure. All right, so <laughs> it was predictable. And, and I mean, they're going to do this. Well, let's start with the attacks on him. I mean, they're going to do this. They already have their attacks ready for every candidate that will announce. Uh, but Ted Cruz, perhaps uh, they're going to be, uh, um, you know, I guess most hostile to. Right. Well, he's probably going to be one of the most conservative candidates in the GOP field this election cycle. So it's not surprising that the liberal media would go uh, on full turbo against him. Uh, what we found at the MRC is went through the archives and looked at sort of the worst attacks on uh, Ted Cruz uh, since he sort of really came on the scene in 2013. And, you know, they, they, they attacked his uh, stance on uh, defunding Obamacare. You had Chris, you know, as Chris Cuomo saying, you're attacking the well-being of families. You had uh, just Donnie Deutsch the other day saying he's scary, unelectable, slimy, dangerous. Uh, so this is not surprising. This is, the, this is illustrative of how liberal the media is. In contrast, you'll remember back in 2007 when then Senator Barack Obama announced he got a rock, literally quote unquote, rock star reception. <laughs> yeah, well, that 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 goes without saying. Um, and of course, uh, you you point out in your piece uh, several things that uh, David Moore of uh, ABC said that uh, he's the combative Tea Party favorite who shut down the government over Obamacare. Chip Reed on CBS uh, Mondays this morning said that uh, he had, quote, helped shut down much of the government all in protest of Obama's health care law. Um, and, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, go, it goes on and on and on. But you know what's worse, Jeffrey, and I know this is a little off the beaten path for, 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 for you here, but they, they could basically just be quoting John Boehner. John Boehner said, Ted Cruz made me shut down the government. Uh, you, you, okay, he's been called a carnival salesman or something from, uh, by, by Peter King. So, you know, I, I, I blame the Republicans as well. Right. Well, yes, when you have someone that's uh, new and is conservative, he's going to shake things up and, and even ruffle the feathers of some of your more uh, moderate or establishment uh, Republicans. Uh, but, yeah, what, what we've seen in the media is they used, uh, famously used uh, John McCain's Wacko Bird comment to hit Ted Cruz over the head and say, see, he's, he's even uh, scary to fellow Republicans. Uh, but if you look at his stances, I mean, they're basically common sense, constitutional conservative positions. Uh, and it's, I think it's just illustrative of how, to the left, most of the media is nowadays, that they consider that to be scary and dangerous. Yeah, and you know, the name calling uh, on, on Scarborough's show with, uh, um, this is back in April of uh, 2013, Jonathan Capehart, call them a jerk you know well i mean I, I you know don't they understand this man is a minority all right yeah well you know it's interesting is you look at uh, uh if you saw ted cruz's announcement you know he had a very emotional story about how his parents uh you know uh had a bout with alcohol yeah both of them you know and but they went on to raise a uh, a, a future United States senator. It's very similar to the personal story that Barack Obama had, where you know he had a sort of father that that left, and he himself had a bout with substance abuse. And they're both quote unquote minorities, or from that you know. And uh, and in one case they ate up Barack Obama's right. personal story, right. and in the case of Ted Cruz, they're like, oh no, we're scared of him. Can you imagine if Ted Cruz had written an autobiography and talked about how he did drugs and was a drug head during his school days? Right. My God. Uh, but, of course, that was in Barack Obama's book. And, of course, it doesn't count that he's a minority. It doesn't count that Carly Fiorina is a woman. You know, right, and right on down the list, it doesn't count that Ben Carson's black because they're 
conservative to boot. So that's what you're up against, as you well know. Jeffrey Dickens, thank you very much. We'll uh, keep reading at newsbusters.org and elsewhere, Media Research Center. Always good to talk to you. Up next, folks, it's Newsmax Editorial Director of Financial Newsletters, Jeff Yastin, with the closing numbers. I hope you're sitting down.